All right. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use a send channel. And what I'm going to be using it for is basically I have two instruments and I want both of them to have reverb. But I don't want to copy and paste the reverb settings and I want them to have about the same settings. So I'm just going to make a channel that this effect is in where I send both of them in there to get sort of a reverb effect through them. So I'm going to add an effects channel. I already have the guitar and the instrument I'm playing chords on linked to their own channel. Here's the beat and bass line regularly. Alright, I'm going to rename this Reverb. Go ahead and add some reverb to this channel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with the calf reverb. Then I'm going to take this guitar. You click send at the top. And then how much you want sent in is up here. I'm going to turn it down to about half. See what it sounds like by itself. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't want any of the dryness from the reverb. I only want the wet because I'm, I'm still getting the guitar sound and the chord sound from the original channels here. So I only want the wet coming through this reverb. So I'll turn the dry all the way down. Now I'll only be getting the wet signal from the reverb. Time to put the chords through their same reverb. I'll mute the guitar at first. And I'll just leave that one at 100. And here we have both of them. And now they're both getting reverb in this same channel. So their sound kind of comes together here in the reverb. It sends both their sounds in, the reverb takes the sounds, generates a re reverberation from both of the sounds that are coming in, which is the chorus and the guitar, takes the wet out and just sends, I mean takes the dry out and just has the wet signal from both the chorus and the guitar combined coming out of the reverb. <laughs> 